Hey, y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43, and I'm here to do a life purpose and career reading for the zodiac sign of Leo for the month of June, year 2021. If you're new to my channel, welcome and blessings come right on in. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, or subscriber, thank you for being so. Welcome, welcome back. I'm sending you guys so much love and light, victory, success, joy, and blessings, all that good stuff. Always, you guys know how much I appreciate you. And cross watchers, please do come in as well. I'm sending you love and light and blessings too for all of us. Everybody's always welcome here. If you are new to my channel, you may not know I'm not big on signs. I like to focus on you, Leo. If your messages resonate, correlate with another sign, I will let you guys know. You guys can watch that video because we can learn from each other always. Please remember, if it's not your reading, it's okay. Hopefully you can still enjoy it or learn something. Your next reading could be your best reading. And there's also incredible other readers, but never ever force it. Just take what resonates, leave the rest. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. You guys keep my channel going and growing. That's the ultimate goal, and I'm seeing it happen, and it's all because of you. So thank you so much. You guys are beyond awesome and amazing, and I appreciate each and every one of you because I read the comments. And Leo's, I must say, you guys have given me the most comments and the most sweetest and sincerest, and I do appreciate all the love and support. You guys are, like I said, awesome, always. I do have PayPal, and I also have... A P.O. Box, if you guys want to send stuff or if you want to donate, please know whatever you guys give to me, I will put back into this channel and into you. I have so many incredible other ideas and I'll be sharing them. So I'm here for you. I'll let you know when life coaching sessions and personal readings open back up. I'm still not open to those right now yet, but I will open back up eventually. Okay, stay posted. And if you're interested, I will be posting a link. Hopefully, I think I'm putting it at the top left in the description box below. You guys will have an extended. So it will be the Oracle messages for the mid-month of June. So enjoy getting where you fit in. And um, I appreciate you guys. All right. All right. Let's start your life purpose and career reading. I have used this deck and I'm using three. I'm going to use the life purpose deck. This is by Doreen Virtue and all the decks have been prayed and meditated on and this deck and all the decks I'm using are written in the description box, so please look if you're interested. This is a really cool deck. I love, love this deck. If you don't know, Doreen Virtue is the mother of tarot. The second deck I'll be using is my deck. This is the Spirituality Messages deck. And I created this one. I love it. This is the one that I have given out for the raffle. And then I will be using the Silver Moon Oracle Cards deck. I typically don't clarify, but I am going to clarify with my deck and the Silver Moon deck. So this will be interesting. You guys are my guinea pigs, Leo, so please bear with me. I have used these decks before, but I'm not a clarifier. But uh, I guess I will be today. Spirit's like, you're going to learn today. But um, I usually don't, just don't because I just don't feel inclined to. But I feel inclined to. This is a formation I came up with last night. I've been wanting to do a life purpose and career reading for a while for you guys. So it's time. I will be reading intuitively and from the book. So I already, to save time, I already pulled out your messages. And I have four. Okay. And I'll clarify them. And you guys might guinea pigs. So if some of the other readings look different for this particular type of reading, bear with me. Bear with me. Okay. I may make some adjustments along the way. All right. Please, Spirit, come through as you always do for the Zodiac Son of Leo for the month of June, year 2021. All right. Okay, so I'm going to start. I want to read from the book as well, so I'll be doing that. I want to start by... Let's announce the cards that came out for you guys. So, Children came out first. Then Builder. Artist. And at the bottom of the deck, I took this one, Spiritual Teacher. Love it. Love it. Okay. Spirit's like, jump on children. Okay, we're on children. Start with that one. They're like, start with that one. Jump on it. Okay. I'm wondering if I should read from the book first or not. Let's talk about it. I'm going to read intuitively first. I'll, I'll interweave it. Okay, 
So I'll read from the book and I'll do it intuitively. I'm doing both. So children, it says your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. As Leos, you guys are natural born leaders and healers. And a lot of you are excellent parents. So if you feel like you need to spend more time with your kids, do it. Even if it's just 10 more minutes extra, even if it's just going to the park more, even if it's just, you know, having that one-on-one -on -one time while you're doing their hair or, you know, bathing time, whatever you're doing, always tend to your children. They love you and they need you. And just your hugs, your warmth, your amazingness is always so needed and loved. Okay. I'm getting your children really do feel loved by you. They never get enough of attention from you because you guys have a very bright and special light Leos. A lot of you are really good with instruments. If you teach children or want to teach children, I'm hearing it. If you want to teach children, spirit saying do it. If you already do it, keep incorporating the magic that you're putting into your classrooms. Okay. Some of you may open a daycare or, um, something like that. This is good. If that's your vision, spirit saying, go for it, do it. You're going to be amazing at it and you will have helpers and other assistants and teachers that are going to add to your classroom and to your curriculum. This is beautiful because I'm seeing like he has, I think that's a flute. I don't know if you guys can see it, but, um, and then there's animals here too. So you guys are good with children and animals. You guys use a lot of colors and pictures and you, you may be an artist or you bring an artist. You may play an instrument. Like everything that you're incorporating into your lessons, your classrooms, and also being a parent. You know, remember, we are all our children's first teachers. And a lot of you, like I did, I advanced my daughter to where she could have skipped a few grades. But we knowingly do that because we're so hands-on. And you have so much to teach. You want to teach. That's a part of your leadership skills and abilities is being a teacher and look i can't help it but the lion is there right of course leos we showed up in our own reading naturally beautiful so the angels are proud of you for the way that you're teaching your kids the world some of you work in aquariums some of you work in theme parks some of you are just teaching just by leading by example every day but a lot of kids will gravitate to you. They don't want to leave you. They don't want to leave your arms and your beautiful, warm and loving hands and hugs because you come across so beautifully and magical to them and fun. A lot of you love to laugh. You're very giddy. You are um, really fun and you guys know how to keep things fun. And that's inspiring to kids when they see somebody that's happy or somebody who's strong and you are so strong and courageous. This is part of your life purpose. You will connect to children. A lot of you have your own children or you will have children. Some of you are expecting and planning. Congratulations and good luck. But this is definitely important for you to connect with kids. Some of you definitely need to um, start a business. Start your own school. Change the curriculum. The spice and the magic that you add into a child's life really molds and shapes their future. They won't forget you. You stand out. You know, kids have a lot of teachers, but I'm telling you, you will stand out. And I have worked with kids. I've worked with elementary, middle, high school, and college. They're all my kids. I don't care what age they are. I think my oldest was like almost 79, 80 years old, something like that. But they're all my kids. doesn't matter the age. But um, you're good with kids. You're good with your hands. And when you do something, you put a lot of love and care into it, and they know it. Okay, I want to read from the book, Children. So a lot of you... You knew you'd always be a good parent if you ever were one, whether you wanted kids or not. So this is just beautiful here. I love the energy. All right. So I'm going to read from the book now. Children, your angels want you to know you have an affinity for young people, which is why you drew this card. Helping children is an important and much needed function since the world's youth, they need, I'm sorry, I'm sorry let me say this right. Since the world's youth need understanding adults. Kids naturally trust you and they look to you for leadership. Consider devoting your time and talents to helping their, them grow, to helping their minds and hearts open and be open to love. 
In your way, you contribute to developing a world of sensitive and caring future leaders. Your life purpose can follow many avenues, including raising your own children or spending time with those of a close friend or relative. Ask Archangel Metatron, the angel of sensitive young people, to guide your actions so that you're best suited to your abilities and help children most effectively. Any of your natural interests, such as writing, art, music, animals, sports, and so forth, can be a way to help, heal, and support children. If you need additional training or ideas, the angels will guide you. If you want to further your education, do that. I have a master's in education myself and a specialization in English language learners. So go for it. Always stay in the know. Acquire new information, skills, sets, and abilities. It's only going to add to your future. It's going to raise your vibration and the kids and add to your money bank. Okay. A lot of you Leos are builders. Some of you work in construction. Others of you are building a business. You always have plans, Leo. So what you need to do is use your innate ability to build and create. Okay. This is going to bring you a deep sense of accomplishment. So build. Even in your relationships, I'm hearing you are the builder. You're like the person that's going to find what's interesting, what's, you know, intellectual. You're going to bring that part, the fun part. You're very ambitious and you have a lot of experience. And for those of you who don't have as much, you are open to experiencing the world in a major way. So go for it, Leo. Okay. You're a builder. Some of you are into architecture. Some of you will be entrepreneurs. Whatever you do, keep building. You're building a legacy for other people to follow. Okay. I love it. The book says your inherent interest in structure and architecture has led you to develop an eye for design and skillful construction. You're naturally inquisitive and you want to understand the mechanics and engineering secrets behind everything. To you, a beautiful building is a testament to humankind's creative abilities. Your soul longs to create because your sole purpose is to build. You love new projects that you can sink your teeth into, especially when you can merge plans with creativity. Even if you're not involved in literally erecting a structure, you may enjoy building automobiles, computers, gadgets, airplanes, or other machinery. You're also good at starting new ventures, and you enjoy a healthy balance of leadership qualities along with teamwork ability. You drew this card as encouragement to explore new ways to be a builder. For example, you can build a successful business from scratch. Yes, you can, Leos. Or your inner guidance may direct you to build muscles as you get more involved with physical fitness. The sense of accomplishment you receive from building something is your soul's reward. Take care of your body. Your body is your temple. And whatever you build, it could be a birdhouse. It could be a chicken coop, you know, for your little animals. And you don't even have to be at a farm or on a farm. Do it. Whatever you feel called to do, do it. Stay inspired. A lot of you are natural born artists. And some of you encompass all of the life purpose and careers on this table. But a lot of you can paint, can draw. You pulled this artist card because it says engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and other every other area of your life. So you need to draw. You need to paint, even if you're not good at it. Okay? Even if you dye eggs and sometimes they come out looking like something from space like I did this year. They looked real space-like. Now, I didn't intend it. But they came out looking like space and I really loved it. So Leos, you are creators. Create something unique and special. Draw, paint with your kids, even if you're not good at it. Um, my daughter loves to make things. She's good at making incredible keychains. Now, I taught her how to make them. But I have not. I'm not even play with myself. I'm not even close to the level of the lanyards and the loom bands and stuff. I mean, she took it to a whole nother level where she can actually sell them. They are incredible and people love them, you know, because I put them on my keychains. And so when I was working with children and in, in, in that nature, they would always say, you know, who made this and who drew this? And I would, you know, bring my daughter's drawings and stuff with me. And she's great. She's very artistic. She's a Scorpio. She's a double Scorpio, actually. And she's great at different things with her hands. So she's a builder. So are you, Leos. And even if you think you're not good at something, try it anyways. Like I taught her how to do it, but I'm nowhere near her level. I'm not even, come on. Like she's light years away from me, but she's incredible. That's a gift that God gave her. We're all artistic. 
So even if we don't like it, somebody else may love it. Okay. Art is what you make it. Okay. And it's also what you don't make it. You know, you can be inspired to do something one way and it comes out a totally different way. Keep doing it. Especially if it just brings you pleasure and peace and joy. Okay. It says you've long had the thought of writing a book. Uh oh, I'm reading author. Oh, artist. I'm sorry, you guys. Some of you may need to write a book. Absolutely. Artist, artist. All right, here we go. There we go. All right, got it. Your inner world is colorful. And this card is a reminder that your career can be colorful as well. With your artistic eye, you naturally gravitate towards beautiful shades, shapes, and objects. Now the angels want to bring artistry into your career field. You will feel more fulfilled with work that helps you express your inner artist. You drew this card because it's important for you to take action steps as you, as the artist, you truly are. If you had unlimited time and money, what type of creative work would you engage in? Your answer to this question indicates a beneficial avenue for you to explore now. In fact, this is precisely what will open up all of your channels so, so that you experience more support, time, and creative energy. So please take the opportunity to engage in something artistic such as painting, jewelry making, an art course, sketching, dancing, sewing, and so forth. Your finished creation may or may not become the basis of a commercial venture. However, your actions and artistic expression will definitely have positive effect up on your career and every other area of your life. Be creative and have fun while you do it. That's what I'm hearing. Do it. Okay. And the main overall energy for career life purpose I got was spiritual teacher because this was at the bottom of the deck. It says you heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. Some of you need to write a book and share it. I see why spirit let me stumble upon that because it's coming right back. Some of you are educators. You're natural born. A lot of you have taken programs or courses, seminars to gain more education. And what you're going to do is continue teaching others, adults, children, doesn't matter. People around you could be your family. You're going to continue being a spiritual teacher because a lot of you are already, you know, in this energy. It's it's a part of your soul and life purpose already. It's already within. So what you're going to do is continue. You're going to learn about different cultures and different religions. You're going to expand is what I'm hearing. So this is beautiful. I love this energy. So a lot of you need to start a class. A lot of you need to start a seminar. A lot of you need to have meetings or groups or something like that so that you keep people in the know. You keep people elevating and learning. And you also are going to inspire other people to be spiritual teachers and tap into their spirituality. Okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to read from the book. I feel like there was something else Spirit wanted me to know. If it comes back to me, I'll let you guys know. But yeah, start some spiritual classes. And um, it's going to be good for your soul. Some of you, your channels. There it is. A lot of you are going to expand on your channels. A lot of you have YouTube or, you know, whatever. Use it. So... If you started out just doing tarot at home or you have a business, that's incredible. Keep going. Start your channel. You know, put yourself out there. Advertise and expand on your channel by doing something you haven't done before. Do something new. So try different formations. Come up with your own. Start making books. Start doing blogs. Start doing various things. Okay. Your own cards and you know, build yourself as a brand. Thank you, spirit. That's what I was looking for. Build your brand, spiritual teachers. Okay. Keep building on. It says you're a healer who reaches your audience with words. Absolutely. You teach in a way that brings healing blessings to your clients, readers, and listeners. You even do so with your family and friends. In fact, people seek you out for guidance. Absolutely. Including strangers, who tell you their intimate secrets and pressing problems. That's because you're a problem solver, Leo. You're trustworthy. And your trustworthy nature and shining inner light, it signals to others that you're a natural born spiritual teacher. 
A lot of you know that. A lot of you need this reading right here to know that. Take this as a sign, as a beautiful omen. This card indicates that you wish to be a spiritual teacher for the joy of it. You enjoy it. You love it. It fulfills your soul. Puts your mind at peace. You love helping others in this way and you're excellent at it. And you're only going to grow and improve and evolve just like you're supposed to do. This card indicates that you wish to be a spiritual teacher for the joy of it without the ego or without ego concerns about fame or fortune. You are a natural channeler who brings divine guidance to others who ask questions about their lives. You're also acutely observant about human nature, especially as it relates to the spiritual path. As a result, you bring a unique voice to the field of spiritual teaching. As long as you remain focused on service and being your natural self, you'll find a wide and receptive audience for your work. Take a moment now and ask your guardian angels, what's the next step for me to take up on my pathway as a spiritual teacher? Notice the thoughts, feelings, and signs that come to you as answers. Spirit wants you to know, I'm chiming in, also... Think about your emotions, how you're feeling when you ask that question and continue asking the angels for additional clarification. Spirit wants you to know it's okay to make money for what you're doing because you're doing it from a, from the heart, from a spiritual place. You're doing it for spirit and for the joy of it. So it's okay to make money off your channels and sell your products, whether it be mugs, it could be cards, it could be candles, whatever it is that you're selling, t-shirts, shoes. As long as you love it and you're spreading positivity and it's coming from a place of peace, that means you're doing God's work. Congratulations, Leo, for being spiritual teachers because I feel like anybody can choose to be. But as Leos, I feel like you're already chosen to be. That's a beautiful thing. Thank God and Spirit for that. Okay, so I am now going to get some messages from my spirituality messages deck and I'm going to clarify each card okay all right let's clarify children spirit for the month of June your 2021 children all right children I'm gonna do them all that's what I'm getting so this is for children Let's do Builder for Builder for Builder. I'm going to do Builder. It fell, but I'm going to take it. Artist for Artist for Artist. You guys got a lot for Artist. Too many. I'm going to reshuffle. Okay. For Artist. We're going to get Artist. Artist for Artist here. For Artist. There it is. And let's get one for spiritual teacher. Okay, there it is. All right. And then let me take this one. Okay. And this is for a builder. Okay. So the title you have from my spirituality messages deck is alleviate worry, stress, and fear. And this is for children. Okay. This is me clarifying children. Okay. So. Your card says, vent, confide in others, realize you have support, listen for guidance, new solutions, and suggestions. So your kids or children around you, it could be your own children, they're going to give you suggestions, you know, to listen more, to be more attentive. They want to spend more time with you, or um, they may vent about their problems. Be proactive in their lives. Continue to be that. As Leos, I know you're going to be. It's who you are. You guys are caregivers by nature. You're wonderful at that. Continue that. And just realize you do have support. You don't have to do it all on your own, but nobody is going to love like you. Your kids know that. They know the difference from everybody and they love their parents, mother, father, doesn't matter. They love everybody. They love their grandparents, but you are their parents. And as a parent, and even if you're a guardian or a grandparent and you're doing it solo, God bless you, continue that. Kids are going to help to alleviate your worry, stress, and fear the more time you spend with them. And 
sometimes they confide in you at the least expected times, you know, and this could be on the job as well. If you work at a daycare or some type of, um, center with children at school or in some type of, um, scholastic institution, children confide in you. A lot of you are mandated reporters and children are going to have a deep connection to you. They're going to trust you. So definitely, um, be that listening ear of support. Know that you are a confidant for many people, specifically kids. Okay. And sometimes your kids give you suggestions. Hey, don't take it as them being mean, even if some of them are coming at the wrong place um, or from the wrong place. But, um, you know, we're all here to learn. And I believe adults can learn from kids just like kids learn from us. Okay. We learn from each other. It's going to make you a better person, a better parent. And make sure you guys vent as well. You know, share some of your stories and things that happened to you so that it opens up a dialogue is what I'm hearing. But I feel like a kid is going to vent to you. You're very trustworthy. Okay. You know what? I'm, I'm inclined to go ahead and get the silver moon messages as well. So I'm going to get them now. So I'm going to clarify it for children as well and for all of them. I'm going to do it now. So bear with me. Beautiful Leos. Okay. This is for uh -oh. children. Yeah, I'm going to pull them out now because it makes sense to just do them both. Okay. For children. I'm going to back up a little bit so because they jump. These cars can jump. And my table is so small for children, but I love it. Okay. For builder, builder, builder. Ooh, that jumps fast. Artist. And then spiritual teacher. Spiritual teacher. Spiritual teacher. Okay. All right, so you guys, so this is what, if I forgot to show you, I think I did show you guys, but this is from my deck, the Spirituality Messages deck. And then also clarifying children from the Silver Moon Oracle deck, you guys have Rose Moon. It says healing, relaxing, and emotional. So I feel like a child is going to confide in you or vice versa, could go both ways and it could be emotional. You guys could cry, but you know what? You're going to give each other both strength and you're going to do things that's relaxing and very chill and peaceful for yourselves. Okay. You could go get your nails done. It could be a rose color or pink or purple. You could just, you know, you don't even have to go somewhere. You guys can just go to the store and, you know, put on makeup, just have fun. It could be cooking together, whatever it is. When you're spending time with kids, you're going to relax and have fun. Okay. Just be safe and be careful. But also listen, let them talk, ask them questions about how they are feeling about things, you know, open up that dialogue, give them a chance to open up about their thoughts and their feelings and be open to them as well. You know, th they will come to you more when they have that, that trust built and Leo's are great at that. All right, let's get to builder. So you have count your blessings title. This is from my deck. So you have count your blessings and you guys also have halo moon. This is from the silver moon Oracle card deck. Okay. So from my title for my deck, the spirituality messages, it says be resourceful, count your blessings, volunteer, use what you need, look to see what you already have. So some of you may be building something at your house or you could be asked to help somebody else build or you're building a business look and see what you need by looking and taking inventory of what you already have so your resources if you already have let's say you're building something and you need wood okay so you may need to start to measure things out if you don't have measuring tape you need to go get measuring tape like see what you have and what you need okay volunteer some of you may be volunteering to help others you may be a part of a creative project, which is so dope. 
you know, if you're helping a neighbor or you're helping a friend or some type of organization build a homeless shelter or build a garden for the community. This is awesome. But definitely see what you already have so that you guys don't have to go spend more than what you, you know, need to spend. Okay. And you have Halo Moon from the Silver Moon Oracle card deck. Be beautiful deck. It's, it's pretty, really pretty color here on this card. It says spiritual gift, inspired and omen. Look for signs of what to do next. Okay. I feel like you're going to get a sign about your life purpose, specifically if you are building something. You're spiritually gifted. And you're going to find out. So you're building something. It could be spiritual, like a spiritual um, channel or something like that. You're, you're doing something in connection. to You're building something spiritually. Could be within you. Just your soul. And um, getting it right with God. Going that way. You should feel real inspired. Or you may be soon. To like follow your life purpose. To build something different or new. Or to add on to something. That's beautiful energy. I love it. Such a pretty card. Okay. In regards to artists. From my spirituality messages deck, you guys have the title, Alleviate Worry, Stress, and Fear. Again, don't be scared of what, what's next or what's new. Okay. It says, care for yourself. Groom. When you look and feel good, you lift your spirits. Raise your confidence. Be confident about what you're doing. Some of you need to focus on how you look, your appearance, how you dress. And as Leos, you guys have excellent taste. So this is easy, but it might just be time to like do a switcheroo, to like switch it up, put on a different color, a different outfit, a different dress, a new hat, just to keep yourself inspired, like lift up your own vibration. And then you have moon phase. It says new cycle, end, begin, and change. So you have a change coming in. Okay. It's connected to your artistry. Some of you need to start something different. You know, there's dates that you guys can go on if you want, where it's like painting and wine. And I'm talking to the adults that's 21 plus who can date and who can date, who can drink and date legally, but, um, who can drink legally. If that's what you do, I'm not encouraging that, but do whatever you feel is best. But I'm just letting you know, there's dates out there where you can just do things that's artistic, you know, bake a cake or, um, cupcakes or go painting. So, um, definitely check in with Groupon cause I've seen that before. You have to look it up though, but you're in a new cycle. Something is coming to an end. It's like a lot of you could be painting the life that you want real talk. So take care of yourself. Get ready. That's what I'm hearing. Standing your courage and your confidence. Some of you need to actually like, you know, do a new hairstyle. You know, hair can be art. It really is. Almost anything is art today. It really can be. Get a new haircut or try something new. A new hair color or um, just do something new. Change up your style. Like add on to it. Just do what feels good and what feels right. Spiritual teacher. So once again, alleviate worry, stress, and fear. Give your worries and cares to the Lord. You guys know that. It says ask for help from others, friends, neighbors, family, community of helpers, the church, or even go to apps. Some of you may reach out to an app or an organization to like donate to your channel or donate to your spiritual business or something like that. That's beautiful. I'm loving that. I mean, it'd be great for anybody to be a reader. If you're just putting out candles or incense, whatever it is that you're doing, this is going to be great. Life coaches, I'm hearing career analysts and specialists you have moon set complete ending and let go i'm hearing let go of how people think of you or what they think about what you're doing especially if you're doing tarot you know a lot of people look sideways because they don't understand it we're leading people to god we're doing god's work we're doing good things great things and changing lives in the process so stand in that leos and just remember Whatever you did in the past, like some of you guys could be letting go of a job. Just remember who you are. Be yourself. You are enough. You're adequate. You're more than adequate. You're outstanding. You're ambitious. You're enthusiastic. You're powerful. Stand in your power. Use your education. Even if you're starting a channel, 
and I'm not working in the classroom right now. I'm start. I'm building up my channel here. I'm still teaching in my mind. I'm still teaching just in a different way. You know, a nine to five is not for everybody. Some people need to be their own boss. Let go of what does not serve you. Okay, always go to God in spirit and make the best choices and decisions for your life possible. You have family and friends, neighbors and helpers that are going to want to add to your business, buy from you, spread the word about what you're doing, your business. You know, let people know. Let them help. Ask for help. You'll be surprised who comes to your aid or who shares your vision or who you're going to teach and inspire to get more into God and the spirit and religious factors. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, Leos. This has been your career and life purpose reading for the month of June year 2021. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you, as many of you as possible. Thank you so much for always watching and supporting me. I'm sending you all so much love and light, victory, blessings, joy, abundance. You are clever. You're bright. You're remarkable. Don't ever forget that. If you guys are interested, the extended is below at the top left. So you guys can click on it if you want. $3.43 if you're interested in your Oracle messages. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel and helping it grow. I am super excited about things to come and I'm super grateful for all of you. Much love and light, infinite joy, blessings always. Bye Leos.